Shabbat Shalom. Our Torah portion this week is the story of Noah and the Ark. In the beginning of our portion, God explains why God is going to destroy the entire world that God just finished creating. The reason is that the earth is filled with Hamas. In biblical Hebrew, Hamas means murder and bloodshed. I read this week in social media about proportions people that are calling on the Israeli army to keep the proportion and not to make sure not to kill any innocent civilian in Gaza. That is a worthwhile calling in an ideal world. We should remember Hamas was elected by the citizens of Gaza who knew the murderous agenda of Hamas that is all about destroying Israel and killing every Israeli possible. Hamas is a terror organization that is using the citizens of Gaza as human shields. Hamas attacked Israel, murdered 1,200 Israeli innocent civilians and soldiers, kidnapped about 200 innocent Israelis, among them mothers with babies, elderly people on walkers, Holocaust survivor, raped women, murdered babies, children, and civilians. Israel has no choice. Israel needs to defend its citizens from future attacks like that. The only choice that any country would do is to defend its citizens in the price of destroying Hamas, even if the innocent civilians that Hamas is using as human shields are killed. In proportion to the attack of Hamas on Israel, it would be as if 45,000 innocent Americans would be murdered in one day. We can just imagine how America would act. Israel is faced with two horrible choices. Either leave its own citizens defendless or attack the Hamas and also by that attack the innocent civilians that are the human shield of Hamas. We are faced with two horrible choices. Are we going to stand by Israel in its just war against the Hamas? Or are we going to stand by the innocent civilians of Gaza, knowing that that means that our own sisters and brothers will be victims of more terror attacks by Hamas? Our rabbis are teaching us that those who are compassionate for the cruel, end up being cruel for the compassionate. Shabbat Shalom.